so hello friend my name is Ravi and welcome in my youtube channel in this video I am going to show you how you can set up Android Studio in your uh, MacBook M1 laptop so let's start First, open your browser. You can open either Safari or Chrome, and then search your Android Studio. Okay, so this is the website of Android Studio. So you can see there's a link to download this Android Studio for Mac. So it will take some time. Okay. Oh, okay it's downloading okay uh, the other thing uh, you can search uh, on google android studio for m1 chip okay and when you open this link you will get uh, this page here you can see like uh, it's fancy we have made our initial preview for the emulator because uh, in the current version of android studio um, the emulator is not running on the m1 chip laptop so there is a problem with the emulator so we have to use uh, uh, this emulator provided by the this community okay so you have to download this dfg file from this link let's download this one also Android Studio is installed on my system so let's uh, open the Android Studio so this is the first time it is opening okay so now let us hearing okay don't send now this is set of visa order okay so first time we have to set up the standard setting again I don't recognize like this set and uh, we want to review and change anything okay so some of the files which is needed to around 1.68 GB so the SDK component will be downloaded previous okay now finish so it will download all the necessary components of android studio and uh, will take some time okay so some of the components are downloaded uh, but uh, you can see it's giving error message here unable to install intel haxm because the cpu does not support the virtualization okay so uh, not a problem because uh, uh, we have a different uh, emulator available so we can use that emulator okay so just click on finish button now you can see this is the android studio which is installed okay as uh, i have already downloaded the emulator okay so let's install that one also so we are installing the emulator here 
what you have to do just drag in to application okay so now you can access the emulator also android emulator yeah this is the application okay so android emulator cannot be open because the developer cannot be verified okay so what you have to do so first we have to go to the system preference then security and privacy now you can see that android emulator was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer so you have to click on open anyway then just open okay so like this way you will be able to open this one could not automatically detect an adb binary some emulator function will not work until a custom part to adb is added okay so not a problem okay so the our emulator is open now the android studio is also installed in the system and emulator is also installed in the system